Hey guys, it's Hugh here, and I wanted to go over some stuff on the webinar today, but the GoToWebinar failed, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this video for you. And what I wanted to share with you, one thing was that, um, you know, how well I'm doing with this one, uh, one website, and I have others as well, but pretty much focusing on this one, and this is one that we look at a lot in my, uh, my training groups and stuff. And, you know, the goal was of course first to get over 100 visits and now i'm i'm hitting over 100 visits the the highest traffic i had got was last week 126 and yesterday i got 129 and then t i mean monday and then tuesday it hit to 155 so we've broken the top of this trend line and we're now every day we're over 100 and we're moving on up toward the 200 a day visit so I wanted to share this in case any of you were you know had any question about whether my techniques work or not for traffic they definitely do and we have got this uh, website siloed out nicely and we're adding content every week maybe two or three new posts a week of nice relevant keyword related content that I create using my tools either viral video curator pro or ICC Express course and by you know you could use our silo factory plugin to set up the website correctly to receive the content and then you can use our program viral video curator pro instant content curator express ICC pro or even VIC pro to create the kind of content on your blog that we make now some of you may be familiar with my website here on Mixing and Mastering and every one of these uh, posts was made with either ICC Express or Viral Video Curator Pro or Viral Image Curator Pro and they are traffic pulling posts. For example, we uh, match our keywords in the posts and we automatically match them with the categories in the blog using the tools and it absolutely works to draw traffic for those keywords. I use PWIC which is uh, an alternative to Google Analytics it gives me all the statistics data on my website and give me some information that Google doesn't although Google's turning off a lot of that info. You can see how much uh, you know how much traffic we're getting and in some cases we actually get our position on Google. Now this one's a on number nine. We're not it's not telling us what our keyword is there. And if we go down the list, we're gonna see you know, we're gonna see some long visits too, like seven minutes here on the site because of the videos. There I'm at number ten, I've got position on number five. 23 position number 4, 18, number 3 on Google, number 8, 9, 8 on Google for those keywords, number 1 on Google for that keyword, whatever it is, number 1 on Google for that keyword, whatever it is. We don't even know what position these are. It might be number 1. It's just not giving us the data. Here we go, 31, 26. There's 13 minutes on the site, which is good. Number 17, here's one minute, three minute. Here I'm at number four on Google, number eight on Google, number one on Google, number two on Google, number three. Here's a 41 minute visit on the website. Number one on Google, number seven. It just goes on and on. We have very good positions in Google with this with this uh, website and it just continues day after day and it just gets better and better which I guess is why Google's just giving us more and more traffic people are spending more time on the site and uh, it just it just pays off so just real quick I'm gonna go ahead and make a post and I'm gonna use 
this keyword FL Studios, I'm going to curate to that keyword since so I have zero posts on that keyword, so it's a good idea to go ahead and fill that out. I've done a lot of switching around of keywords in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this one, FL Studio. Is that plural? Yes, FL Studios, and I'm going to save that. Click on it, it appears here, and then I'm just going to save that as my default keyword. Now, this will be the keyword that gets pulled when I go to search for videos, so I'm just going to go search see what I can come up with FL Studios. Okay, so I've checked out this video and it seems pretty decent. A little tutorial on how to make beats with FL Studios. I know that's plural in my uh, keyword, so I'll probably use that. But I'm going to use this video. I've got it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this icon to create a post. And I've already got my, you know, pre-formatted keyword-related posts all ready to go here. So a couple more things that I want to do first. One of the things I want to do is make sure that FL Studios is selected as a keyword right here like that. So we've got the category targeted to FL Studios, and we've got our keyword matching that. So that's one way that we tune right into that laser targeted traffic from Google. The first thing I did was just change the title. So I, it's changed to make beats using FL Studios, or, or I think I'll put the keyword first. So it'll be FL Studios make beats video. I know that's not the most sensible title in the world, but it puts my keyword first and it puts the other keywords that I want in there. Okay, now in my uh, my article, I've already started building this article here, um, and I've marked this up. I've changed my title, got my video, and I'm writing a, a little after curation here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share this authority link from Wikipedia that'll give me even more authority in Google's eyes and help to make this post something that... Um, that will look good in Google's eyes. So we just give basically an outgoing authority link target to uh, blank. And now we've got a nice outgoing authority link. Share this post if you use FL Studios. Want to disseminate this information more widely. <laughs> okay. All right. So that should be pretty good little post here. It should get me the traffic on that keyword. So let's go ahead and post it. And I do have my uh, my Facebook accounts put in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to basically schedule this for Groovonic Mastering on uh, tomorrow's date. And I'm going to schedule it also on my Beats for Days website. I'm going to put it maybe next week sometime. And just set that. So now those bookmarks, what it's going to do, it's going to grab the blog post and then stick a bookmark on these two fan pages right at the time that I've scheduled. Okay, I'm not going to worry about Twitter right now. So first thing we'll do is post to the blog. And that post is done and now the Facebook bookmarks are being set. So let's go take a look at the post. And there we have our nice little post. I could have centered that. And we've got the outgoing authority link and 
There we go. So we've got new content for this website now. And this is the kind of content that pulls the traffic and just makes that traffic go up and up and up. Now, last week, this is when the last time I posted was last Wednesday, and you see it. Since then, it's just got a boost. And then the previous week, it was Wednesday was when I posted. And you see it just all goes up from there. The previous week, Wednesday. Well, I'm not sure if I posted them, but I know do know that I posted on the 12th. It went up. And I posted it on the 19th, and it went up. And now today's the 26th, and we'll see what happens. I'm hoping to this will just keep going up and up and up. I'm pretty sure it will. From all indications, my strategy on this website is going gangbusters. Okay, so I just wanted to share all that with you guys. I'm sorry we didn't get the video done for the uh, for the webinar today, but hopefully this will be a good substitute for that. Little uh, some ideas about how you can keep your traffic going up and up by just by sharing that awesome material. Okay, it says Hugh out, and I will catch you next time around. Have a great week, folks. Bye-bye.